Tide's in Duluth, dirt south Duluth. Tide, the wash day miracle that gives you the cleanest clothes in town, brings you in person, direct from Hollywood, that zany, lovable clown of clowns, Red Skelton. T-I-D-E, Tide presents Red Skelton. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you'll enjoy our little visit tonight. Uh, I have a new little friend watching me tonight. He's been watching me for some time, and I didn't know it. Little Monty Metzger. And uh, by the way, this week, a lot of things happen out here. Luella Parsons got the Heart of Gold Award from the Mount Sinai Hospital, and I'm glad now that the people throughout the nation know what a wonderful lady she really is. I'd like to uh, thank also Jimmy Beacon, uh, Bacon, Bacon. <laughs> well, that uh, ham would mess up bacon any time. <laughs> for the Associated Press story about our show. I'd like to thank for... I had a little trouble getting down here tonight. My car stopped up on Sunset Boulevard, and a guy in the back of me kept blowing his horn, kept honking his horn. Finally, I got out of my car, and I walked back to him. I says, hey, buddy, will you do me a favor? You go up and start the car, and I'll honk the horn for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading in the... Uh, the examiner uh, this week that the uh, that the Stalin Stalin is seriously ill. <clears throat> now for some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> I see that uh, I see that Truman's back in the White House. Somebody must have left the front door open. <laughs> You know, it cost $7,700,000 to repair the White House. <laughs> you can see where your Social Security is really doing some good after all. <laughs> That's a lot of money to spend for a house in Washington for a guy that lives in Key West, isn't it? <laughs> Look at me, I don't know why they redecorated the White House. I don't think Mrs. Eichel liked the wallpaper in the living room. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. They're really wonderful people. And Margaret, I understand, is booked solid until November the 4th. <laughs> I, I feel good tonight. I got that spring fever, though. I've, all day long, I've been feeling like taking off my skin and dancing around my crazy red skeleton. <laughs> You can always tell when spring comes to Hollywood. The orange trees are in bloom and Errol Flynn's in court. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta tell you about what happened to uh, Junior, uh, little uh, Richard and uh, Valentina this week. They decided that they wanted to do the shopping for us, so we sent them down to the butcher's shop, see, down to the corner. And uh, he goes in and he said, they both went in together and he says, we'd like to buy some hot dogs, some hot dogs. You know, hamburgers with tights on. <laughs> See, we like about five dollars worth. It's five dollars worth of hot dogs. He says, you gonna eat them? He says, no, I gonna use them as handlebar grips on me tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> they come back to the house and he come running into the house and, oh, they got such imaginations, children, such imagination. He come running in and he says, you know what just happened? He says, I was out in the backyard playing and a great big tiger jumped out and he grabbed me and he gobbled me up. He gobbled me all up. Guess me foot was sticking out. He took his paw and pushed out. I said, well, if he gobbled you up, you must be a ghost. He said, that's right, I is a ghost. I said, well, if you're a ghost, you can't eat any of the chocolate cake your mother baked for you. He said, no. <laughs> and if I'm a ghost, you can't spank me because I've already eaten. <laughs> Uh, did you ever, ever figure out one thing? If you buy a girl a present, it either doesn't fit or it's fattening. Now, a few days ago, <laughs> a few days ago, I, I brought home a box of candy for my wife, uh, Georgia, and, um, well, I'd like to try and show you in pantomime exactly what happened. Now, at the last minute, the things didn't show up, so you'll have to imagine all the different things. Now, here is a table. Here, see? This is a table right here, and it's got a box of candy on it. And the, uh, over here's a scale, see? You have to remember the scale now, you see? Over here. Now, I need the, uh, the chair. <laughs> well, there's one way to do this, too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this
This is the way. Now, Georgia came in and she saw the candy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way she looks. Elton's film scrapbook, Willie the Barber. <laughs> Boy, this guy looks like a 30 cent cedar mop. <laughs> wait for some of the out-of-town business. You see, all the people here in town are wise to me. <laughs> <laughs> if there's ever a depression and people want their throats cut, 
You'll do a land office business. I don't know. The boys in Washington have been doing pretty well already. Ah, <laughs> uh, now, Willie, you ought to lay off that stuff. Yes, <coughs> man. Are you insinuating that I have been indulging? Well, get up off your knees. Am I on my knees? <laughs> I thought it was funny that I could touch the floor without bending over. <laughs> hey, I gotta get out of here. Here comes your wife crossing yeah. the street. My wife crossing the street? Yeah. Look, look, watch out, dear. There's a car behind this. He missed her. Must have been an out-of-towner, you know. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Hello, well, Mr. Bumble how, Frame. how are you? Well, well, getting a shave and a haircut? No, I'm just going home and look at my insurance policy and see how it covers barber shop. Well, good day to you all. Uh, good, good day, day, good day to you all. Day. Day. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> see you later. Okay, see you all. She comes in every day and steals my newspapers. That's all I <laughs> Hello, Willie. Well, hello, sweetheart. How's business? You trying to start an argument? <laughs> <laughs> well, how's what? How's business? Let's have a little respect for the dead, huh? <laughs> well, hey, I know that you've had two customers today. Yeah? Yes, and you didn't work on them for nothing. Oh, I know. I paid them. <laughs> Open the cash drawer. Oh, that would be interesting. I'm dying to see them myself. Isn't that something? Four of the most beautiful varnished drawers you've ever seen. <laughs> Willie, what happened to our money? I really couldn't tell you. Willie, look me in the eye. <laughs> Willie, what? look at me. Look at me. Both eyes. I know what you look like. <laughs> oh, honestly. Tell me, Willie. Hmm. What do I look like? You look like a very beautiful, charming girl. Yes. Very beautiful. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, Willie, you've never said those nice things to me before. Well, I've never seen you in this light where the sun hits your hair like that and you with that razor in your hand. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> for two cents, I'd go home to mother. Oh, I'm sorry. Gee, I don't have two cents. <laughs> oh, you're the most ungracious. You're the most horrible man I've ever known. Oh, shut up! <laughs> You're a windy old bird, ain't you? <laughs> oh, customer, customer. Oh, uh, there's somebody ahead of me. I'm after this lady. Oh, oh no, well, no, if I'm you not... are, I don't admire your taste. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're next, sir. You're next, right here. There you are, sir. I'll oh. have a shave. Once oh. over politely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're new around here, ain't you? <laughs> there you are, sir. We'll have this ready for you right now. Yes, sir. This is a nice little shop here. Oh. I do like it, you know. What's the idea of strapping me in? I haven't started yet, but oh. I have <laughs> oh, uh, Let me ask you something. Uh, you like my shop, huh? Yeah. Has business been good? Oh, no. See, I, I opened this up with a GI loan. Oh. Yes. I, I, three years ago, I opened this up. Mm -hmm. Now all I owe the government is a grudge. <laughs> I was in the service, too. You, you were? Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Enlisted man? No, officer. <laughs> I believe I have hit the jackpot. <laughs> What's the idea of strapping me in? Well, when I put that chair up high, I don't want you getting dizzy and falling out. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, an officer, huh? That's right. A uh, lieutenant? No, colonel. Oh, no! <laughs> I believe I have died and gone to heaven. <laughs> Tell me, what branch of the service were you in? Uh, infantry. Oh, no! <laughs> I have hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh, good. I was an infantry myself. Oh, good. I walk so much, my socks look like spats. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, uh, <clears throat> would you, uh... Care for anything here? <laughs> a cigarette? Yes, I'd yes, like to have a cigarette if you don't mind. Oh, well, Willie, I don't. Well, uh, here's a nice tray. Yes. A nice tray? Yes, yes uh huh. This what? came from Willie's second customer. I say, it looks like an ear. It is. <laughs> second customer? Uh huh. What happened to the first? We never speak of him anymore. <laughs> He don't spout off much either, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes, fine. well, now, sir. Oh, thank you. 
you. Uh, would you like a manicure? Uh, yes. Yeah, say, uh, you're mighty pretty. Well, thank you. And you're very handsome yourself. Uh-huh. Would you uh, like to go out to dinner? Oh, I'd love to, but I must say I eat like a horse. And hay is pretty hard to get. <laughs> Would you uh, hurry up? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, you are. I'll be yeah. right with you in just a minute, sir. There you are. There. Hey! Don't you put that hot towel on my face! <laughs> well, you didn't think I want to burn my hands, did you? <laughs> my, my last good clean towel, too. <laughs> what is that stuff? <laughs> 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 Would everybody inhale real quick? <laughs> Whew. Why do you get this stuff out of here? Here. Run it around the block, will you? <laughs> I tell you, I know that 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 just don't look right to me. I'm not gonna put that dirty towel on me. It's my only towel. Here, dear. How about a little hair restore? Could you use a little hair restore? Uh, is it any good? Oh, sure. My wife opened a bottle of it the other day with her teeth, and now she's got a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, this stuff will grow. It's Willie Lumplum's hair restore. Oh? Very good. I use it all the time with ginger ale. You drink it? Isn't it dangerous? Not if you don't smoke an hour afterwards, no. <laughs> yeah, this is awful good. This stuff will grow hair on billiard balls. Oh. You don't believe me, you go by the pool room. They got the hairiest billiard balls you'll ever see. <laughs> Here, I'll we'll give you a hot towel now to right. loosen up your beard for yeah, you. Fine. Oh, oh, yeah, fine. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, that's been on the floor. You're not going to put that dirty towel on my face. Well, this is my only towel. Well, I know, but I'm in a hurry. You are? Yes. Dear, would you do me a favor? Yes. Let's show this man the miracle of the day. I show you something, boy. All right, Willie. Really? Tide, the worst day miracle. Well, Just... I don't have long, you know. I know, not with us, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the worst day miracle. It gets tired. I'm kidding. I don't care if anybody gets a laugh. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> this gets close cleaner than any soap, and it is really the white day miracle, you see. Now, here, you take this out, and in and, and, and glassware gets a sparkling white, you know. Would you take that out? It gets, uh, it gets uh, wash prints dazzling bright, and windows and glassware, it gets sparkling bright, and it's kind to your hands, too. Wonderful. Yes, write that right up, will right you? Here. So you were a lieutenant, huh? No, a colonel. Oh, a colonel. A colonel. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, here it comes now. <laughs> here it comes. It's back yeah, already, yeah. huh? Yeah. There Good you are. Tide. See? Isn't that beautiful? Sparkling bright. Look at that. Know, that is the voice day miracle tide. A colonel, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Skelton Scrapbook. Quiz the candidate. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the new television program, Quiz the Candidate, brought to you by the Yummy Yummy Pie Bakers Association. Our guest quizzes for tonight is none other than Miss, Mrs., uh, oh yes, Mrs. J. Arthur Saddlesore, noted scientist and creator of the only tiddlywink that contains vitamin B12. It's a hard name to get. He's only been rehearsing it two weeks now. It's pretty hard. And also here we have Mrs. Gertrude Stump, noted author of that new bestseller, I Married a Tax Collector, or Sing Sing Revisited. <laughs> also we have as our guest presidential candidate for this evening, None other than Honest San Fernando Red. My friends. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, where's Zaza Gabor? I thought she was going to be on here. <laughs> you ain't sitting on Zaza, are you there? <laughs> my friends and y'all my friends, because I know you are, I've paid enough for your votes, I'll tell you that. <laughs> if I am electrocuted, uh, elect electric, <laughs> I want to say a few things right here now before I make my speech. That for the past few years, this present administration only been giving you speak feet. You get me in office, and I'll give you something higher up on the hog. <laughs> <laughs> I've just returned from our nation's capital, Key West. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and I stopped off in Washington, D.C. for the J Jackson Day dinner. J Jackson Day dinner. That was really some... How are you? Glad to see you. <laughs> they paid $100 a plate, but I want you to know it was well worth the money. 
Each Democrat had three waiters, two busboys, and one Republican to burp them. <laughs> this seems like to be the year for military men to get into office, and I want you to know that I have been in the service. I have served before. <clears throat> yes, sir, I expect to be called any time. I'm on the uh, San Quentin... <laughs> You know, you're not allowed to make a political See, you were supposed speech. to interrupt me there, but yeah. I'll forgive you. <laughs> you're not allowed to make a political speech. You see, you're only supposed to answer the question. Oh, ask questions. That's the what question. kind of a congressional committee is this, anyhow? Mr. Yeah. Ryan. Yes. May I tell the televiewing audience something? Yes, go right ahead. Don't adjust your television sets. They are not out of focus. He is just two-faced. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a uh, license to make this mass meeting speech, lady? <laughs> Boy, I never saw such a crowd of people in one person in all my life. <laughs> Boy, she was born when meat was cheap, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, is that the way you want to play? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. This had to happen. Please, let's get down. Let's get down. <laughs> let's get down with the questions. We have some questions that have been sent in. Yes. And you're supposed to answer these questions, yes. Your Honor. Yep. Now, first of all, they want to know what state were you born? A state of excitement, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot one, wasn't it, huh? <laughs> Here's another one. What do you think of the Navajo issue? Oh, well, that's a blanket uh, thing, if you ask me. <laughs> the Navajo. I happen to be one of their fellow brothers. I'm an Indian. Are you a full-blooded Indian? No, I used to be. I sold my blood for transfusions. Now I'm only a half-breed. <laughs> my mother was an Indian and my father was an engineer. I don't know if I'm a boxcar or a capoose. <laughs> Tell me, Your yeah. Honor. Yes, sir. What do, you, what, what do you think of the Tennessee Valley? Oh, the Tennessee Valley. Yes, Tennessee I'll Valley. tell you, boy, there's Albert. <laughs> well, boy, he's a candidate. Don't know whether he's coming or going, does he? Huh? That's innocent. a good question. Yes, it is. Now, here's one that was sent in. Uh, what do you think, what do you think of Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania? Yes, Pennsylvania. Just a moment. Yes. I was born there, too. Yes. I was born everywhere. <laughs> yes, sir, that's me all over. <laughs> I think at the, uh... <laughs> I'd like to pay my tribute to the Hess boys <laughs> in Allentown. <clears throat> Hess boys, they run a department store. Now, if there's anything free, I'd like to hear from you. <laughs> And uh, about you miners, this underground movement has got to stop. <laughs> Here's one that's been sent in. They say, what do you think of the Taft-Hartley bill? I say pay it. <laughs> You're excused. Go ahead. I'd like to ask his owner a question. Go right on ahead, boy. Right ahead. Ask me anything you want. Your Honor, is it true or untrue? that you robbed the city treasury three years ago. <laughs> what do you say, I robbed the city treasury? No, sir, the night the city treasury was robbed, I was in New York. I was in New York when that happened. What night? The night I robbed the city treasury. I mean, uh... <laughs> Mr. Ryan, we're getting nowhere. None of these questions are being answered. Right. Nothing is being solved. This man is nothing but a blowhard. Now, just a moment. Every time I get on a tell, what happened to Zaza Gabor? Oh. She was a <laughs> Man, they tricked me into getting... Would you sit down? You look like a landslide. <laughs> Every time I get on television to make a speech, for some reason, they cut me off. Well, tonight I'm here to say, I'm state the facts. These are the facts. I hope I get through to you. I'm telling you here now that this has been one of the... Ladies and gentlemen, due to tempers beyond our control, we are discontinuing the sound portion of this telecast. However, we will continue bringing you the picture and accompany it with appropriate mood music. <laughs>
Oh, get lost. <laughs> oh, we got a, we got a little disappointment for you, folks. We are not going to throw them after all. <laughs> I don't believe in throwing pies. I'm a mudslinger, myself. <laughs> much. We really and truly didn't intend to throw pies, and the guy that framed us on this was Sam. Sam, come here, Sam. 